And here we are trying to find the cause of the phenomena of life. What makes things happen? Why is that one poor and that one rich? Why is that one known and the other unknown? And why is one this and the other that? And yet you are told in scripture there is only one cause, only one God. Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. There aren't two gods, there's only one God. So we have to find out who this one God is. If I should speak to you now and say, and speak of your God, the chances are, and you can give it any number you want, a million in one, or trillions in one, that hearing the word your God, that your mind will instantly think of someone or something external to yourself. I do not care how you form it, but you will think of God, your God, as external to yourself. But if I spoke of your imagination, I am certain you will think of no one but yourself. Could it be that your imagination is the God of Scripture? If you read Scripture carefully, you will find that it is. There is only one creative power. We are told in the 32nd chapter of the book of Deuteronomy that I, even I, am He. And there is no God beside me. I kill, I make alive. I wound, I heal. And there is none that can deliver out of my hand. From this we see that the creative power of the world, the creator of the world, is like pure imagining in ourselves. 